Hi there, thank you for joining us. What I'd like to do right now is to give everyone an overview of the Novaria Academy site. This site was launched to achieve the following objectives. Number one, to serve as a repository for all training related artifacts. This means presentations, handouts, and other materials will be stored in this site. And number two, to be able to augment trainings done within Novaria. By using this site, we can now automate course exams and be able to track attendance to courses and even grade participants on whether or not they pass or fail a training course. Number three, to be able to provide a venue for Novaya resources to share knowledge and information. We'll be putting up forums and discussion boards all over the site. You can also have your own blog to write about the things that matter to you. Cool, isn't it? Now let's get going. To access the site, go to academy.novare.com.hk slash Moodle. Once you're there, you will be able to view the site news, which will give you an idea on what's currently up with the site. You will also have a calendar that shows you what events are currently happening in the Academy, as well as a list of upcoming events just below it. You will also be able to see if there is currently anyone that's online in the system. There is also an FAQ section, a Frequently Asked Questions, which will give you an idea on what the Navari Academy is all about and some of the basic information and the things that you can do within the site. You can also click on the courses, which will give you an idea on what are the categories that are currently available in the website. Okay, do note that when you click on a specific course, what you will actually see is the course title, which is an encrypted version of what the course is. So you will have to actually log in to see what courses are really available for the users. Now, let's try to log in. Click in the login button on the upper right side of the site. In logging in, you actually use the first name and last names similar to your email address except that you don't add the at novara.com.hk. Password is actually password with a capital P using the at sign as an A and replacing the O with a zero. You need to change your password upon first login. Okay, now I'm logged in. Once you've logged in, you can see that there's a lot more stuff that's in your homepage than you initially saw before logging in. Over on the left side, you see a navigation screen that contains My Home, which means you can actually customize your own homepage. You also have site pages where you can actually see site blogs, meaning these are blog entries coming from other people within the Novar Academy site. And then you also have site badges, which is actually a very cool thing that uh, we've implemented for the Novari Academy. You know, we all know and we all want that all of us get, uh, you know, some recognition for the stuff that we've done. So these are mini badges similar to what you've seen, you know, some of you were like Boy Scouts before. So we have badges for various uh, types of achievements within the organization. So for example, you've actually completed your ADM course and you've passed the course you will be getting a done with ADM badge. If for example, you've participated in blogs and created your own blogs with at least 10 entries, you will be awarded a blog master uh, badge. Okay, so there's more badges that we plan on putting up within the next you know, couple of weeks and months. So just do stay tuned and we do hope that you participate in order for you to get these badges here. We also have tags which list down some of the uh, tag clouds that are, you know, listed in the forums. So you can see what are the stuff that's in there. And you also have a calendar that shows you what activities are actually in place. So it's exportable in iCal, so you can put it in your Outlook so that you can actually see and take note of the calendar activities within the Novar Academy site. Again, you also have the site news and the FAQs, which you can actually use if you need more information. Now, let's look at the My Profile. So you can see here your own profile. So I'm Mr. Johnny Test. And you can see my profile. You can see my department, my position. 
the courses that I've enrolled in. Okay. And you can see my forum post, any blogs that I put in. Do take note that you can actually uh, import your own blog. If you have an external blog, you can import it using an RSS feed. You also have the messaging facility. So if people uh, actually contact you, you can exchange information through messages. And you also have private files. If you have some files that you'd like to upload here, although do take note that there is a 10 megabyte limit for all the files and each file is around 2 MB maximum. You know, we'd like to keep it as such so that you don't have, the, the system doesn't get overloaded. Okay. And you also have a list of courses that you've taken up. So in this case, this person, Johnny Test, has around five courses that he is currently enrolled in. Now, uh, do take note that there are various types of uh, courses available in the Novara Academy site. The first type of course is the normal educational course such as the new higher orientation. So this gives you an idea on what a course looks like. So it has course, uh, some course material and even an assessment. This is basically a quiz that will test whether or not you've actually understood the things that were taught in this course. There are even courses that have assignments. There are courses that require you to do uh, submissions or even group works and stuff like that. So each course is different from one another. You can actually take a look at the grades as well. Okay. So those are the things that uh, you can do in, in each course. Okay. Other type of course is actually a, what we call a forum. Okay. Forums are just what they are. They are forums. You can actually participate in these forums. Okay, an example of a forum would be if I go to Project Program Portfolio Management, we have a forum specifically for project managers. And this is for them to be able to. Okay, so this is an example of a forum. So you can add your own discussion topic and you can, you know, put in whatever uh, item that you'd like about that specific topic. In this case, this is for uh, project managers. So project manager stuff, you can put it here. There are other various types of forums depending on the uh, category that you want. So we have forums for quality assurance, business analysts, and even for software engineers, such as ads and, and stuff like that. Okay. Now the other type of uh, course is what we call a library. A library is basically a repository of information. So an example would be the PM library, which contains lots of information on project management. So if you'd like to bulk up on your skills and knowledge, so you can read up on these documents. Okay, so just to show you an example. So you can read up on these documents and, you know, gain more information on project management. Okay, as an example. And the other type of course is the certification tracker. So what it does is just basically tracks people who have uh, taken up certification courses so that we know who actually passed a specific course. Okay, so this the PM certification tracker is just an example of one of them. Now do take note if you see this uh, door over here on the description of a, of a course, this means that you can actually self-enroll in this course. So you can just click on enroll and you can actually be enrolled. Now if there are courses that you'd like to, if there are courses that you'd like to uh, have in, in this Numari Academy site. You can always click on request a course and put in the, the name of the course that you'd like, a short name and stuff like that. What course category and then a summary of why you want this course to be put in. So this is sent to the administrator for review and approval. Okay. So there you have it. This is the Novara Academy site. We do hope that you enjoy the site and maximize the use of this site. 
If you have questions, do drop us an email at moodleadmin at Thank you and have a good day.